Okay, as you see, we have here a Debian installation. This installation is now complete. I followed the installation process step by step. Only click continue, continue, continue. Deselect the desktop environment and only SSH server and the, the base utilities. And now the installation here you see is complete and we can reboot. If you don't have installed the SSH client, we can install it by apt-get open SSH server. And this is the first boot of this new Debian version. And we're trying here to install the web server administration interface ISP config with the auto installer. This is the first time I try this and I hope it works. So I log in as a root and install apt-get install open SSH server, I think so. Nope, oh, open SSH minus server. Okay, yes, that's right. And then I can connect to this from my OS X client on the IP 168.052. So I go here in my terminal on the OS X client so I can this make much bigger. It's better for the video I recorded here right now. And now this was 52, I think so. SSH minus login, my name, one, and two, one, six, eight, zero, five, two, and yes, and the password. So I can switch to the root. So I'm at root now, and here my root document folder. What's do next? We need also the contrib main in the sources list and our host names. So I go here, etc host name, nano, and you see there is no host names here. No, 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 not the host name. We need the hosts. So, and here we put in the real IP address and not the 127. One, two. 168.0.52. And this must be a full domain name, subdomain, like the server1. Your domain name, and here also only the sub suffix. We save this and then we need to reboot the server. But first, I want also update the Debian system. So we go here nano etc apt sources.list, and we have here also the main and we need the contrib non-free. So I go here and say contrib non-free. And so now I can copy and paste this. Control O, search, no, 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 not Control O, Control W, search for main and replace, Control R, main, replace with main contrib and non-free and I say yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is this is here, no, yes. Okay, control O. You can write this manually also and I like prefer this in search and replace style. Okay, save it, apt minus get update. And let's try to apt get upgrade the system if there's something to upgrade here. No new versions and reboot now. Okay, when the reboot is complete, we're trying to installing this uh, setup here. The setup is from the GitHub. You find the GitHub repository under ESP config underlined a setup. And here you find also the readme version, how it works. And this is what I try to do here right now. We can choose during the installation about the web server, Apache Nginx or mail server, Dovecut, Courier, Quota, Jailkit, Squirrel Mail or Roundcube and the ESP config standard expert mode or multi-server mode. And this works for Debian 8 only. And I prefer also for ESP config a Debian system because it is the most supported system for the ESP config setup. So let's try to reconnect to the, our server and going again to the root user. And now let's try to install this setup. Okay, let's try here now to copy and paste this line. We're going to the temp directory 
download the installer tgz file and extract the tgz file and starting the installation script in one line. Yes, this sounds correct. And here we're trying this copy and paste. The download is here complete as you see. And we can here now going to this installer. Yes, we want to installing on a Debian Linux 8 system. So I type Y and now checking internet connection. Okay, we let it here as the default settings here, MySQL. Okay, I give it here sync secret and also I let now the default Apache installation. No, I don't want a hip hop virtual machine right now. And Xcache, yes, I want it. PHP my admin, yes, okay, this sounds fine. Mail server, Dovcut, I preferred also Dovcut here. And antivirus database file here right now. Okay, selecting user quota, okay, sounds correct. And here, would you like installing unintended setup of expert mode? I prefer the standard here. And yes, we can also install jail kit and round cube. Okay, now we set here the SSL configurations for the, the certification files. And we're going here to, I use the example EN Italy Udine, okay, and the company LTD, okay, and IT Dep. Okay, now let's check how the installation is working. I hope so, it's working really well. And after then, when the installation is complete, maybe we can log in to our ESP config server and can also use the web mail and file server here right now. So we can use also a domain name and let's encrypt also with HTTPS, SSL certifications. And here you see the dash is configured, reconfigured right now and also the MySQL setup will be installed. And I hope this will working really well because ESP config is a very cool administration interface like Plesk, but more flexible. And it uses really, really the standard installation methods of each file. So in this GitHub repository, you see also under distros, distros folder, you have here the different environments and Linux distributions here, DBNH, Ubuntu and CentOS on DBNH. You see there are also all for each type of server and own bash script. And here you see bash script for MySQL, for Postfix and some other. And let's see what a bash script here is, installing SQL server. And here the config checks MySQL and installing the MySQL server here right now, only with this type here, MySQL server, and set the bind address in the configuration files. This is really nice, yes. Okay. So let's see what's here going on. Installing PHP models, installing the Apache and models, installing MySQL and installing the dash. Okay, this is really nice. And you see here after some minutes, we can go into the next step. So I forward this video a little bit so you don't have too long to wait here right now. And I'm using here the virtual box environment in a virtual box environment with a four core and 60 gigabytes of RAM. Here we see now when ask a configuration to the database from PHP my admin with DB command, please select no. Okay, this is cannot be automated. Okay, we click here enter. And when we ask here, we going to no, definitely no. Okay. The DB common is here right now unpacking and maybe in some seconds they would be installed. And here you see, and here we're going to write and select no, and here we are. And you see here, something is going here right now, creating with new version, installing Let's Encrypt and some other services on MySQL, PHP, Python scripts. It looks really good. Here we have no names. Okay, I didn't set anything. I did set any, I, I don't type any key. And here we are. Okay, this, this looks really weird, but 
now okay this is maybe from the installation process just wait don't click anything and just wait installing webmail we selected round cube and hopefully this worked also very well and maybe let's see checking and disabling send mail installing post tweaks okay maybe it's now we are here on the Debian Postfix and Dovecot installations. Here you see webmail Postfix. Postfix is also here remove send mail, update send mail, service send mail to disable it. And this is a plain bash scripting. If you don't know much about the bash scripting, you see it here and maybe you learn bash scripting in the future. And this is really awesome about Linux you can do. You can do it with uh, some sort of uh, line of code and making so wonderful things to installing a, a whole server yes um, here you see only with this uh, services here three lines of code you disable send mail update the information and and remove send mail from the system and here with some other line of code you can completely check the configuration files and edit configuration files and set it to new new one this is so awesome i, I like it really and this script works currently really well and I, I think this is the one of the main code of about this distribution and maybe there are some other users who requests and and make some commits and here we are to set the admin password you see here service open for set not detected configuration firewall really nice fail to ban and here we go to the admin password. Yes, I set it to admin. And now, please specify domains installer that will help names auto discovery. I type only enter. And here restarting the services. And maybe we can try to log in to our ESP config when the Apache is restarted. Installation is complete, looks very nice. Here we see the default side, and on the other way, we need to go to port 8080. Here you see 8080 and HTTPS. If we don't use HTTPS, we get here some errors. Here you see 8080. The certificate isn't validated because it's a self signed certificate. Okay, we had to continue this. And here we are. Okay, let's try to log in. Whoa, that works really well. Yes, the web server is running. Maybe also we can create uh, some new users to try if the MySQL is running correctly. But if this uh, interface is working, you see MySQL is really running. And you can also create some emails. And I want to try now add a new client. And here I add a test company and the customer and the user is the Rene user and the password is one two three four in my ca case too short okay let's try a little more complex okay repeat okay default language english and we can set here some state and some emails is here for the lala at lala.com this is not my really email address this is only i fill it out because you need here a required email and okay we can set also here the limits and now i try to save here contact name is empty okay the contact name is also rainy save it and now let's try to log in as rainy if this is working we are really good here. Yes, log in as client. Okay. No. Okay, we here. Log in, log out, Rene. Okay, really nice. No, log out. So I want to try here, really log in. And now, yes, we are logged in as Rene. You see here, this is working. We can create a new website. Can create here the website IP address is also here. We can create my blog and i can host my blog now you have here www.us auto subdomain and here we are with some php versions and it's 
interesting for me which PHP versions is here right now. We can go to www and HTML. Let's try php.php, php, php, php info. Okay, maybe this works. Now you see here the PHP version is version 5.6.29 and this is maybe one of the latest versions about from Debian 8 here right now. We can also check if webmail is working. Yes, you see here webmail is here around cube. We can also try here now the PHP MyAdmin. And whoop, here's PHP MyAdmin. You can create a username and password in your ESP config setup here right now. Under database, database user, create a new user, create a database. And yes, that is it. And so you can installing a new Debian system with PHP, MySQL, Apache, and some other information web and file server in maybe under 10 minutes, maybe under one minute if you have only need to wait. Yes, this is no really important how long you need here. You can make this in the background and then edit only the round cube user password here right now. And this is it really nice. Okay, let's try the email. And here we create a new domain saying secret.at. This is not working right now because Sync secret isn't showing to this IP address, but I try here the round cube. And here we create a new mailbox, add a mailbox. And I want here rainy and rainy at sync secret at and the password that's what we'll okay let's take the normal password i used before and we can set a quota limitation send copy to outgoing mid copy to is enabled the spam filter not enabled or is it hard enabled disabled enabled query listing whoa this is really nice okay now let it save it here right now and try to log in Okay, we're going here back to the web mail and now try to log in. And I want to try here the password. And here we are. Yes, it is working. I didn't have to set up here any configurations. And as you see here, I'm logged in. As the user can refresh here right now. And here, welcome to your account. ESP config has set up here my account. Your webmaster, wow, I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm impressed, really impressed about the script. And hopefully you enjoyed the, this video. If you like this video and want to installing also your own ESP config server, please share your experience with me in the comment section. And maybe we see us in one of my next videos. And if you like some of these videos, please hit the like button and if you want to see more so then subscribe to my channel yes and so you see us in the next video and bye bye